Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to play PlayStation 1 games on your PS4. That is correct. PlayStation 1 games on your PS4. So this assumes that you have jailbroken your PlayStation 4. You can jailbreak the original PlayStation 4, the PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro. I have a separate video covering that, so feel free to check that out. Okay, so assuming you have jailbroken it, and assuming you have a game as well, I will be putting on a battle station. So you'll need this bin file. There are, you know, you can use tools like IMG burn or power ISO if you have the physical disk to be able to rip the, you know, bin file from. It's pretty simple. You can, you know, Google that. You can, you can get that. So this assumes that you've got your image file, your bin file. And there's a few things that we need to download. I think just one thing. First of all, if you go to this website, this PS1 Classics Emulator Compatibility, because it is emulation, it will tell you which games are compatible and which aren't. One thing I will mention is there's one or two games that are said that's playable, and like from my experience, wasn't playable. But again, there's been some that have said that, you know, don't work and they do work a little bit so this is not you know 100 accurate but it is still a good guide i will provide a link to this in the description okay what you need to download is a application called psx fpkg because we need to convert our game our bin file which is a image to a pkg which is what the playstation 4 will read so we can install the game so if we go to this link, I will actually just provide a link to this in the description. So feel free to check that out. We want the PSX version, PSX FPKG, and just download whatever the latest version is when you're watching this video. So if I click download, click download, it'll start downloading. There we go. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. You also need 7-zip to uncompress it. And depending on where you get your games from, you may need it for that as well. So just select the latest stable version, 64-bit or 32-bit. You can find out if you have 64 or 32-bit by going to the, you know this PC, System Properties, and I should say here 64-bit OS. If you have 64-bit OS, you can use the. Let me go back. Yeah, you can use either one. If you have 32-bit, you are relegated to only using that one so if i click download it's just an exe and it's a really simple installation process do, 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 almost done let's click it once it's and it's gonna launch up now and for me it's putting it on the d drive because that's where i've already got it installed i'm just doing the installation again that's it that's seven zip installed now so what you want to do is extract your PSX. So you go to PSX FPKG. I will have a separate video covering how to play PS2 games on a jailbroken PS4. So right click, go to Extract 2. So that's using WinRAR or 7-Zip and go to Extract 2 Live. So, okay, so that's extracted it now. Another thing I want to mention this video is not condoning piracy, it is for educational purposes only. Okay, so if I go on to here, here, and we need to, this is really the only thing that we need to concern ourselves with, this executable, the PSX FPKG. So double click it, and you'll launch this up. You want to select your disk, so click select, and you want to go to wherever you've got your bin file, open that. You want to select if it's SCEA for America, SCEE -E for Europe, that includes UK. SCE, -E, it, it should be J, not I. Um, looks like I. Or might be I. That for Japanese, so America. You can choose a different scale as well. It's, there's usually more text here that shows you what the scale is for, for stuff like 720. 1080 and 4k i'm just leaving it as default because i've got my window zoomed in can't see everything you can google additional commands to enter we don't need that i'm going to be installing this on a jailbroken ps4 
version 6.72 if you are using the 5.05 jailbreak just select this firmware 5.05 backport if not just deselect it now we need an icon and a background if we don't provide one a default one will be added and it can just get a bit confusing so let's add our own icons so it is battle station it needs to be a square and it needs to be a png file battle station ps1 cover png ps1 you can make your own if you want to or you can just get something off the internet like you know something like that assuming that is png and not jpeg it is jpeg make things annoying when it is jpeg actually you know what i would save this one and i'll just save it out as a open up paint open again obviously you, you don't have to do this as long as you've got a png you're all good to go so png desktop png there we go and i can close that down go to icon select your icon there we go and unfortunately it does not support jpeg now for the background this is what will just appear when you click on the game and it launches up before it actually launches into the game this is like a little background that will appear and we'll put in background for example again it could be anything that you want yeah i'll just put that one then i said ratio is correct uh, yeah even if it isn't you'll just squash it a bit or stretch it so it's, it's it's not the end of the world okay so i'm gonna go to paint again just because i need to need it as a png file so yeah. don't think you downloaded the big version <laughs> Otherwise, it would look really pixelated. The thumbnail doesn't need to be as high res. So let's just open this again. There we go. That's more like it. And save that. Go back to our application. Select that. There we go. Okay, almost done. There's use compression. I haven't had any issues regarding using or not using compression, so you feel free to use that. Reduces the size of the games. It's PS1, so it's the game won't be that big anyway, but that's totally up to you. Now we need the title and the MP title. You can leave this as default, but I recommend that you do change it. So to get the MP title for your game, go to this website, psxdatacenter.com. A link will be in the description. Go to enter the PSX data center. And from here, you want to select NTSC for U for America, PAL for you know the Europe region, and NTSC J for Japanese. So because I've got a Europe, a, a American game, just select that. And I want to scroll down and find battle station. Battle, battle, battle station. There we go. We want to copy this. If I copy that and I paste it, watch what's happened. A little mistake has occurred. Look, the six wasn't copied because you can't have a dash in there. It has to have be a specific format, which is four letters and then five numbers. So if I was to leave it like this and change the title, I want to show you this error because this you know, error plagued me before I knew how to fix it. And I'll just put in battle stations. And I do create FPKG. And I'm going to save it on the desktop. Click OK. It says finished. If we go to the desktop, there's nothing there. There's no extra, you know, FPK, I mean, PKG file. That is because this right here, it was unsuccessful. You need to get rid of the dash. Now put that number, which is six. Now if I click at create FPKG, go to desktop, a little terminal, a command window will appear. This is what we want, creating an image. 
0 to 100%. This doesn't take long for PS1 games, it's usually a few seconds. Now if I go to the desktop, there we go, it has appeared right there. So now what we need to do is copy this onto a USB stick. So I am using a USB 3.0 stick, uh, plugged it in, here we go. And if you've already got it on the correct format, great. If not, you can just go here, format, and it needs to be XFAT. The allocation unit size, just go to default allocation size. Quick format is fine. Feel free to name your volume wherever you want. That's totally up to you. Click start. Okay. That's that done. And now we need to copy this PKG. onto the root of our USB stick. Depending on the speed of your USB stick and the size of the game, it may take longer, it may be quicker. Just be patient. Now let's just safely eject it. And once this window disappears, it is safely ejected. We can unplug the USB stick, apparently still in use. <laughs> I don't doubt it's anything to do with this, but let's just plug that down. Come on, safely, safely ejected. And there we go. I will provide a link to the PSX Data Center, the compatibility, and the FPKG converter as well in the description. So feel free to check that out. What I will also put in the description is the tutorial. Actually, I will put a link to the playlist of the PS4, my PS4 hacking playlist, which has how to actually jailbreak your PS4. Now we are going to switch over to the PS4 and install this Battle Stations game. So I'll see you there. Now that we have converted our PlayStation 1 game to a PKG, put it on our USB stick, make sure you put that into your PlayStation 4. It can be in either port, doesn't matter. It's not fussy like that. I know certain stuff on PS3 is on the jailbreak. Okay, so again, this is assuming that you've done the jailbreak. So assuming you've done that and you go to settings, you have the debug settings option. You wanna to go to game, package installer. Depending on how many, you know, you know, packages you have will determine what you see here. Feel free to rename some of the packages to, you know, make it easier to figure out what is what. So click that, it'll go say, add it to download right there. Doesn't matter, ignore that. Installation is quick. And now we should say, ready to use that's what we wanted so if we click the playstation button there you go it says battle stations the thumbnail that we got from google is right there and now if i was to click it i'm actually going to turn the volume up because of the playstation intro sound that's the image that we got <clears throat> Oh yeah. You know that little thing that happens here, yeah, that's fine. Now we're, now we're actually in here. I'm gonna turn the volume down now. I just pressed the start button. Actually no, I think I pressed the select button. And as you can see it is working, we can go to one player, arcade. There you go, we can move around. Let's pause it. And we can quit. This will take us back to the main menu. And I'm going to turn the volume down now. If I click the PlayStation button, it takes us back here. And if we click it again, it is just paused and now resumed. We can close this down as we normally would. If you want, if you want to, 
delete it, just you know, press options, go to delete, or you can check out some information uh, about it. So that is it. That is how you install PlayStation 1 games on your PS4 that has been jailbroken. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.